everyone. Welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking, where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather, and today's adventure is with Chex. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, okay, she's gonna do Chex mix, and you would be wrong. What about Muddy Buddies? Nope, we are instead doing a Lemon Buddy, which is very similar to a Muddy Buddy, but there is no peanut butter, there is no chocolate. Well, okay, there's white chocolate, but that's not really chocolate, is it? I don't think so. And there is lemon zest and lemon juice, and it looks like it's amazing. I've never had it, but I love lemon treats, so I have a feeling that I am gonna love this. So, let's see what we think. Are you ready to get started? Let's go. All right, like I mentioned, this is very similar to the Muddy Buddy. However, there's no peanut butter, there's no chocolate. It's instead lemon and white vanilla chips. So let's just get started. It says it's gonna take 15 minutes, so this should be a really quick video. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this into the microwave for one minute and one minute only. At the end of one minute, I'm gonna give it a stir, and then I'm gonna see if the residual heat will melt the rest of the chips. All right, while that's going, we are gonna get our lemon juice ready. Now, I saw a hack on uh, Facebook recently where you take a lemon, you roll it around in your hand, and then you puncture it at the top, and this is just a skewer, and then you're apparently just supposed to squeeze it right out. Do you see that? It's actually working. Wow. Okay, let's pause while we stir our chips. That minute went by really fast. As you can see, it looks like I'm gonna need a little bit more time with those chips. So I'm gonna get it back in the microwave for 30 second blasts until I think the rest of the heat will go ahead and work. And I probably shouldn't be using a whisk because all the chips are getting stuck in the middle. Oh, see, don't use a whisk, y'all. I thought it would be nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a spoon. All right, let's get that back in for 30 seconds. All right, I washed my hands and now the 30 seconds is already up. All right, let's give that a little stir. And after just a minute and 30 seconds, that should be plenty of heat to continue to melt that. So we're gonna put in our fourth of a cup of butter and this is room temperature butter. And we're basically just going to melt it right in this little bowl with the heat of that. We're also going to put our lemon zest in it, but since I haven't even zested my lemon yet. We're just gonna set the butter in there for right now and let it melt. Let's see if we can get the rest of this out using this little hack. All right, the other thing that I read to get more of it out is you give it air hole in the top so that it can get, whoa. Now, I don't know that that works. We'll just squeeze it going that way too. But that does work to get all of the juice out. That is pretty cool. That is a hack that actually works. Can I get any more? Ugh. Okay, we'll call it good. All right, and we'll save that lemon for just a second because I want to make sure that my butter is melting inside of my chocolate. So I'm gonna give it a little stir and it is melting. So my husband got me a cutting glove a couple of years ago and I always use it when I zest because I always, always cut myself when I'm zesting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and zest the same lemon that we already got all of the stuff out of. Probably should have zested it first. Probably, but that's okay. Okay, zesting an already squeezed lemon is very difficult. I don't recommend it. So learn from my mistake. Zest your lemon before you squeeze it or else you won't be able to get a very good handle on it. I need teaspoon and one teaspoon, uh, one tablespoon and one teaspoon. Brilliant little glove. Never have to worry about cutting myself. It's brilliant. I've just cut myself way too much over the, over the years of me learning to cook and going to the ER to get things cauterized. All right, let's continue to stir this chocolate. Let's see what we have here. All right, I feel like the butter is nearly in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this lemon zest right to it and give it a good stir again. 
And we're gonna put it in the microwave again for about 15 seconds. All right, 15 seconds is up. And let's stir our chocolate and our beautiful lemon zest. All right now we're gonna add that juice in and make sure if any seeds did make it in. I see two, you don't put that in. And we're gonna give that a stir. All right, I don't even think I need to put that into the microwave. That looks great, you see that? Looks and smells. Oh, I cannot wait. Okay, we're already almost done. Okay, so here I have five cups of rice checks and four cups of corn checks. And now we are going to pour this over the top of our checks. All right, here we go. Looks kind of like pudding. Although we know it's chocolate, not chocolate, vanilla. It's vanilla chips, so weird. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out because I have not tried this. Could be awful. Though, I don't know many things that are lemon flavored that are awful. I don't know, maybe it's just me. All right, now we're gonna toss to coat. Oh, toss to coat, yep, toss. The directions say toss to coat. It's only tossing in this little ball. So I'm gonna just stir to coat. Even though it said toss, I'm gonna stir. We just will try not to break them all up. That should be good. Okay. Next, we are gonna add our powdered sugar. So I'm going to put some of it on this side and then I'm going to toss and then I'll put some on the other side. Ooh. See all the smoke? During the holiday season, my kitchen is covered in powdered sugar often. It's a hazard of being adventurous in my kitchen, I suppose. All right, let's toss more powdered sugar. They look like Muddy Buddies, that's for sure. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, last step, if you have it, this is optional, put in some coarse yellow sugar so that it kind of all sticks around so that whoever gets to your bowl knows it's lemon flavored Chex Mix muddy buddies because can you imagine you stick these you stick these in your mouth except now I can't see the lemon sugar I'll have to sprinkle it on afterwards but can you imagine sticking these in your mouth thinking that they're muddy buddies and them actually being lemon I might be rude might be rude now we are gonna lay these out on a parchment this is not parchment it's silicone baking mat but I'm gonna lay them out so that they can dry because they are warm and sticky. And I didn't know how much parchment I'd need, so I put, or I didn't know how much space I would need, which is why I did two there. Um, but I'll just spread them out, drop some on the floor, and then they will dry. All right, I don't know how long these need to cool for, but I ain't gonna wait for them to cool. I will try some for you right now and I'll let them cool after I'm done trying them. All right, here we go. Ooh. Oh, see? Powdered sugar everywhere. That's good. Mmm. That is so good. You know how when you put lemon in your mouth and your mouth starts watering? My mouth is watering. And I feel like I could probably eat this whole thing. <laughs> probably not a good idea, but hey, no one's gonna see me in pants for what? Another two months or so? It's fine, leggings are pants. All right, you guys, well, if you enjoyed that video, give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. 
and know that if you want to make a gluten-free Chex dessert in 15 minutes, this is an option and a very good option. One that I will have no trouble making again. All right, we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.